subscribe to my channel um thanks so much for tuning in and if you're new to my channel just make sure you subscribe don't leave without subscribing okay so today i wanted to talk to you guys about what i do to take care of my hair under my wigs <laughs> i'm gonna put the sneeze yeah, so I want to talk to you about what I do to take care of my hair under my wigs and it's very very simple honestly I feel like people make it seem like taking care of natural hair is so hard like oh my gosh it's so difficult oh my gosh it's so time consuming oh my gosh no like it's really not that hard honestly it's straightforward it's easy it's simple you don't have to spend a lot of money you can literally just use Basically, all you need is just like a moisturizer, shampoo, uh, deep uh, conditioner to do your deep conditioning treatments, and some oil, honey, and just a little wide tooth comb. It's it's you don't need a whole lot, really. I mean, you really don't need a whole lot. It's it's really not complicated. So yeah, let me get into what it is I use, what it is I do, um, also to make my life. A lot easier you know what I'm saying on the wash days which I'll wash my hair like about once a week I um, do a pre poo treatment and then I shampoo and then I condition I don't deep condition because I really don't feel like I need to deep condition personally but I after deep after conditioning I literally just towel dry my hair and Get my little moisturizer or leave-in conditioner, put it on, get my little oil mix and, you know, put it on my hair just to seal in the moisture and bam, we're done because my hair is in braids or flat twists. But yeah, that's all I do. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you what I use. So to pre-poo my hair, I like to use this uh, Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. This is a staple product for me. I've been using this for about five to six years. I haven't been using it recently just because I wanted to try out what else is there, you know, just to try out some new products. But I've been using this product for about five, six years because it's just that good. Um, I, um, the way I use it now though is I put honey in it like i like to mix my honey or like i just get any type of honey and i put it in mix it and i apply it on my hair and i find that the honey makes my hair just bouncy buttery just shiny if you may you know it honey acts as a humectant so the hair is better able to retain moisture and that is exactly what you want for your hair to be healthy um, for it to retain moisture because when it's too dry or becomes too dry and brittle then it will break so that's why i like to mix honey in it i don't necessarily i don't need to mix honey inside my conditioner but i do it just because i feel like it makes my hair feel even better than it already does when i use that uh, treatment mask. But so for those of you who don't know what uh, pre-pooing is, pre-pooing is basically when you just deep condition your hair and you do it before you shampoo your hair, hence why they say pre-pooing, pre, get it, pre, -poo. yeah. So basically um, I like to get a spray bottle um, like this one and I Put some water in it, spritz my hair just to get it damp, not dripping, but damp. And I get my um, treatment mask and I apply it all over my hair, get a plastic bag. I don't buy all those little plastic cups because I'm like, I have plastic bags in my house. It does the same thing. So I just grab my little Walmart bag and I put it on my head, tie it, put my little hair towel on top and keep that stuff in for like an hour uh, you can do 30 minutes but i like to do it for an hour because my hair is even more moisturized and after that i get in the shower and by the way i do this in the morning so i get in the shower and rinse all this stuff out and i shampoo my hair twice in the shower and i shampoo my hair twice because it gets cleaner and 
the hair feels smoother after you shampoo it for a second time for some reason I'm sure there's a scientific reason behind it but I don't know the reason but my hair definitely feels smoother when I shampoo it for the second time after I rinse out the shampoo I put conditioner back on my hair um, the treatment mask same one I put it on my hair and leave it to sit on my hair while I'm showering and whatever and when I'm done showering I just rinse that stuff off then I get out of the shower and I get my hair towel this cute hair towel but you can get for probably like three four bucks two dollars I don't know anywhere from two to five dollars and I wrap that around my head and I like to squeeze all the excess water out and sometimes I'll leave it on for a few minutes and sometimes not but whenever it's like dry enough or like not like dripping anymore take it off get my conditioner or my leave-in conditioner and the leave-in conditioner i use is the elastic qp um leave-in conditioner and i put that on get my oil mix this one and apply it on my hair and we're literally good to go my hair is dry enough for me to put my wig back on and wig back on because i haven't put it on yet it's the morning it's my hair is dry enough for me to put my wig on and go okay so that is in the morning now in the evening i like to get the same oil mix and i massage my scalp with it so that my scalp also gets moisture because my scalp tends to get dry and i also like it because it stimulates my scalp and helps my hair to grow so i'm gonna get into hair growth and everything in another video actually probably the next video um in the next video i'll be talking to you guys about how i grew my natural hair over the past year um and i'll just show you guys my natural hair part of the reason why i wanted to switch over completely to a hair channel on my channel is because i am on a hair growth journey and i've actually been on a hair growth journey for years but i cut my hair last year and i'm back to growing my hair out again so I've been growing my hair out for about a year now and I want to share that journey with you guys. I want to document it and I, like I said, I have a passion for hair. I love hair, all things hair, wigs, hair growth, all of that stuff. So I figured that that's like the, this is like the perfect place for me to share that. So guys, that is the end of this video. If you have any um, routines or things that you do with your hair or how you if you have something interesting that you do with your hair okay so what I want to say is share with me down below how you take care of your hair under wigs that's all I want to say I don't know why it took me so long to say that but yeah so thanks so much for tuning in and like I said in the beginning don't forget to subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and your family and I'll see you guys in the next video